Well, hey, everybody. Jay Todd out here in front of Bally's. And here's what's happening this week in gambling. players what a time to be alive we've got sports betting news from colorado and online poker news from pennsylvania and that my friends is this week's big story after years of guessing and months of waiting poker stars officially became the first online poker site to go live in pennsylvania earlier this week and barring any unforeseen setbacks, it should be live for everyone in the state right about now. Of course, the games are not going to be exactly how you remember poker stars, at least not at first. You see, Pennsylvania has no cross-border player agreements with Nevada, New Jersey, or Delaware, so for the time being, all the games are going to be played in state, which means your competition is going to be your neighbors. Now, for those of you not living in Pennsylvania and wondering what all the excitement is about, let me explain it to you. You see, Pennsylvania is the fifth largest state in America by population and the biggest by far far to ever regulate online gambling or online poker at nearly 13 million people. So you see, legally and logistically, this is a big deal. And while PokerStars' partnership with Mount Airy Casino is the only game in town for now, or the only game in the state for now, more poker rooms are on the way. Valley Forge Casino has a relationship with Party Poker, and Harrah's 888 and the WSOP have this weird threesome thing going they've been doing for years. No word yet on when any additional poker sites will launch, however. What we do know is that players in the state will have a variety to choose from, including cash games, sit-and-goes, and tournaments. We also know that players will be able to participate in the games using their mobile devices. So, Pennsylvania, your long wait for online poker is over. And for most of the rest of us, the long wait continues. This week's special offer is for Caramba Casino. Find exclusive player specials at Casino City for Caramba and hundreds of online sites. Visit online.casinocity.com for details or follow the link in the description of this video. Global Gaming Expo with the American Gaming Association about the current sports betting situation here in America. We spoke with Chris Silkey, Senior Vice President of Governmental Relations, about where we are on a state-by-state -state basis, the legal actions of the U.S. Department of Justice, and the AGA's position on a federal sports betting framework. It's live right now, and you can find it by following the direct link below this video that I placed for you in the descriptive area. Finally this week, it's time for a vote in Colorado. Several months ago, I told you that residents in the state of Colorado were going to have a chance to vote on sports betting legislation this November. Well, it's this November, and folks are heading to the polls right now. In truth, there's not much resistance anticipated for this vote, and the measure's expected to pass quite easily. You see, uh, <laughs> what the politicians did was they tied the sports betting vote to water conservation. <laughs> Pretty clever, you gotta give them credit. I mean, who is anti-water? To the Batmobile! 